Congratulations on your purchase of a Globe Trekker zero torsion subframe. Globe Trekker was founded by FMTV owners, engineers, and expedition enthusiasts, and was born out of the necessity to provide quality and lasting value in Overland Expedition products to the DIY builder. Even if you are having your expedition vehicle built by professionals, rest assured. We believe you have made the best choice in quality and value. Ask for Globe Trekker products by name. Start with a clean frame. Relocate needed components for the operation of the vehicle so that the subframe and subsequent habitat will remain clear from contact. Carefully look over the diagrams provided and familiarize yourself with bolt, washer, and nut stackups. This would also be a good time to ensure that all of your components are accounted for. Report any missing or damaged parts to Globe Trekker without delay. You may download the terms of service from the website at www.rvglobetrekker.com. Keep in mind that many of the parts seen here will be fully assembled for your convenience. Prep the frame of the vehicle by placing at least two 4x4 posts that are long enough to span the frame. Use the post as temporary shoring material to rest the subframe on for positioning and placement of the subframe brackets. With the aid of a few friends, lift the subframe chest high and position it on top of the 4x4 posts, roughly in the location of where you want the subframe to be attached. Locate the front of the subframe with the rear of the cab, keeping in mind the positioning of the habitat on the subframe. The 2x4 gives a visual reference of the position of the habitat, which is measured 25 and a half inches from the forwardmost center cross member of the subframe. Add in the distance from the back of the cab to locate the subframe's position on the truck frame's rails. The distance you require may vary. All right, what we got here is a three-point front mount, and you have a full 12 inches of travel that you can adjust where you would like your pivot point to be located so it will actually clear any kind of subframe connectors, any kind of brackets you might have. If you opt to do the four point, you actually can move the bracket here to the center and you have almost a full 24 inches of adjustment where you can locate it based upon the center of the other pivots. For three point systems, position the rear pivot mount one cross member forward of the rearmost subframe cross member, aligned with the pre drilled holes in the frame. Position the four point system pivot on the longitudinal center cross member of the subframe shown here. Temporarily loosely bolt the bracketry to the subframe, aligned with the pre drilled holes in the frame. Confirm the positioning of the subframe on the truck, both lengthwise and side to side for correctness and centering. Anytime you make an adjustment to the position of the subframe, reconfirm the position of the subframe from all remaining measuring points. 